Okay, so we're going to give a quick uh, tutorial here on how to manage your Mobile Me photo gallery um, because if you didn't know, all the photos you load into that gallery, if they're not password protected, then they're open to the general public. Um, so you can protect, you can split up your photos into albums, protect the different albums with a password, and it's all managed through iPhoto, and it's very simple. So what you want to do is you want to go into your events, and um, any photo albums that you've already uploaded into MobileMe are going to show up in this left-hand column under your MobileMe gallery. And um, we're going to first, I'm going to show you how to put those photos in real quick. Uh, you need a MobileMe account, so if you haven't done that, um, this is the wrong video. So we're going to take this 4th of July event. Um, we're going to add in, and I want you to see something. If you see these, uh, these titles that I got, fireworks stand and I got James buying fireworks and just left the regular uh, computer uh, camera title on there. Those are the titles. So uh, if I want to put all three of these up in the 4th of July, create a brand new 4th of July album into iPhoto, I select all three. When I select Mobile Me, um, it can be viewable by everyone or it can be viewable only by me or I have a password set up for a group called friends or I can create new names and passwords. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I want this just to go out to James because uh, I got the pictures of him uh, buying fireworks. So we're going to put James and we're going to give him a password uh, 4321. This is all demonstration pur purposes and hit OK. Okay, so now um, he's the only one who can get in there, or anyone I give the James uh, username and password to, and allow him to be able to download. We want to show those titles uh, that that were on there, and uh, hit the publish button. It takes just a few minutes to upload these. Okay, so now that it's done, we're going to go onto our web browser and log into our Mobile Me account uh, to see how that uploaded. So, log in. Mine uh, opened right up to the gallery. Some of these will default and open up in your mail, and if you just click this icon in the corner, your toolbar will let you switch over to the gallery. Um, and you can see the different photo albums I have. Let's have a little quick discussion on them. Any photo album with a padlock means those are ones that I've set through iPhoto to be opened up with a username and password any of these albums that have no uh, padlock on them mean that the general public can view these at any time because your account up here, your gallery.me.com forward slash your username is open to the public. And so if people know your username and know how to get into these galleries, they can see the types of photos you have here. So let's use the example of the 4th of July, and we're going to double click to get in, and uh, we can see that they came in with the titles, okay? Now we'll go into the public side, so you can see, and you can see the pictures are blocked from the general public. So um, if we click on it, it's going to ask for username. Now this one I had set up under the friends account, and uh, simple password and we can get it and see and so that's how that works now if you um, have been uploading albums all the time and now want to go back and add protections to certain albums uh, let me show you how to do this now you have to do it back through iPhoto now remember remembering that the uh, we have to go over to this left hand side where the mobile meet uh, galleries are. And um, let's say that uh, the St. Rose Carnival, um, we only want one person to get permissions in, and it's a wide open file at this point. Well, we go all the way down to the bottom right hand corner, click on the settings menu, and we can see it's viewable by everyone. Now we can go in, add a user and password um, because we're not going to give it to friends or James, so let's give it to Bob and make Bob's password 1234. And now 
the next window once we hit publish. Now that will be password protected. But let's take the password protection off the 4th of July and because we want everyone to see James buying fireworks, um, we'll click on the settings and we'll switch that from viewable only to James to everyone and we hit publish. And that's set. Now remember on any of these where we have these um, username and passwords, these are just usernames. So even though I've given them Bob and James and friends, whoever I give Bob to and Bob's password can open that up with that username and password. But this is if you want to start designating who gets in where. You can make as many of these names and passwords as you want. Also remember on all of these Apple menus, the minus button will get rid of passwords as well. Now if we hop on over to the uh, Mobile Me gallery, we can hit the refresh button on here and we can see that the password protection on this album that we had just for James is gone and the password protection we added on the St. Rose Lima Carnival album is for Bob is now up and if we get into our gallery on here we can see with the refresh how that has all changed. And that's basically how you manage that um, through iPhoto and um, remember you're going to be working off of this side column here to uh, change your existing albums that are up on the MobileMe gallery.